$2 for Casper during this bull run. Hypothetically speaking, is that still my price target? Yes. And even though that's not financial advice, nor a guarantee, the reason why is because I think that Casper could very well be the next big project. The reason why I say that is because we all know that AI is going to be the next big thing moving forward. And when it comes to Casper, it's focused on AI. Many people out there, they don't consider Casper as a project that's focused on AI, but it actually is. You know, for instance, not too long ago, around two weeks ago, you know, to be quite exact, but besides that point, it was announced that Grayscale AI is quite essentially partnering up with Casper. Now, it should be noted, though, that this isn't actually Grayscale, like the one with the A that has, you know, a lot of Bitcoin, like the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust. I'm not talking about that. So that's a correction I do want to make. This right here is Grayscale AI with an E. But yeah, besides that, point, I still think this is good news nonetheless, because some people out there, they may think that, oh, because it's not Grayscale, the one with the A, you know, now it's the one with the E. This is really bad. Oh, wow, it's such a letdown. But I disagree because Grayscale AI, I still think, is an amazing step for Casper in the right direction. And I think this, if anything, showcases how there's actually a lot of people still believing in Casper because some people out there, they may think that Casper is forgotten about. They think it sucks. It's caca, but it's actually not. And take this into consideration as well, how some of Casper's partnerships is actually under a NDA, otherwise known as a non-disclosure agreement. So what we're seeing when it comes to Casper, what they're announcing, you know, what they're putting out there, that may very well just be a small glimpse of what's actually going on behind the scenes. So if Casper's already announcing this type of stuff, imagine what's going on again, right, behind the scenes. Man, it could look so great, but I guess we may never know unless they do announce it. So that right there, I think is pretty much a telltale sign that Casper is still thriving and still building. And again, it's IBM partnership. I mean, we all know that IBM is amazing. You know, if that didn't disappear off into the abyss, some people out there, they may think that, you know, these enterprises, they stopped believing in Casper, but I disagree. Signs are still showcasing that Casper is still thriving and it's still growing. So that's a thumbs up for me. And people like to complain about Casper. They say that, ah, look at the security breach, all this type of nonsense. But man, when people see, you know, hacks going on on the BNB smart chain ecosystem, when they see hacks going on on the Ethereum ecosystem, on the Polygon ecosystem, that's okay. They say, yeah, it's fine. But then when it comes to Casper, it's suddenly not okay. Just like one security breach and they're like, oh, wow, this is the end. That doesn't make sense to me. This is like preferential treatment, right? Anytime Casper has a little bit of a slip up, they're saying, yeah, it sucks, all this type of stuff. But then when the big dog, so to speak, they have problems, people don't care about that. But come on, man. Casper, just this one incident and people are freaking out makes no sense. I'm not freaking out. You take a look at my previous videos. I never spread FUD about Casper. I never said, yeah, this sucks, all this. I never said that. Some people out there, they want to spread fear. They want to make people, you know, scared, angry, whatever the case may be. But I'm not like that. When I believe in a project, I say it how it is. I say how Casper is amazing and I believe that. So why would I say otherwise just to make people scared? doesn't make any sense. I still think that Casper is one of the best layer one blockchains out there. It's fast. It's very scalable. So I don't see why it's bad at all. Nothing fundamentally bad happened to it. So I'm not going to stop believing in it. And you got to think about this. $2 really isn't insane. Now, some people out there, they like to treat that $2 as some crazy outlandish price target, but I really disagree. You know, I think for instance, right, we can all agree that BNB, I don't think it's the best out there. BNB reached over a $100 billion market cap. I mean, come on. Casper at the price of $2, considering current circulating supply, market cap would be around $24.5 billion. That's like way less than something like BNB reached back in 2021. This isn't too much to ask for. Also, we've seen SHIB reach around $40 billion. We've seen Doge reach over $80 billion. Casper at around a $24.5 billion market cap? Not insane. Now, let's see. we want to tone things down. Some people, they like to say that, yeah, okay, we'll take 50% of $2. Let's say it's a dollar. You know, even at that point, market cap is around $12 billion. So even at the price of a dollar, the market cap for Casper wouldn't be ridiculous. So I think that $2 really isn't crazy at all. You know, it's not like it's never been achieved before. And I'm not saying it's going to happen tomorrow or next week because that's usually not how it works. Because if we take a look at off of history... Usually altcoins, they peak in a worst case scenario a year and a half after a Bitcoin halving event. The Bitcoin halving event happened back in April. So that's potentially worst case scenario October next year for altcoins to peak. Not so bad in my opinion, just a little bit over a year from right now. If anything, it's actually more time for me to accumulate Casper. So I don't really mind at all. But of course, some people, they may take a look at it and say, yeah, the faster, the better. But also based off of history, altcoins, they've also been 
known to peak around six months after a Bitcoin halving event, which is October this year, based off of, you know, again, the last Bitcoin halving event back in April. So best case scenario, it's actually pretty soon. Now, only time will tell what happened, you know, October this year or October next year or somewhere in between. We don't know. Again, only time will tell. But no matter the time frame, it's not so bad because if it happens early, okay, then I can party earlier, right? Quite essentially. If it happens later, then all right, more time for me to accumulate happens somewhere in between. Sure. All right, whatever. I don't mind because I believe in Casper for the long term. You know, I've been acquiring Casper ever since 2021. So this is kind of like peanuts in the grand scheme of things. That's just the way I view it. Again, $2 for Casper wouldn't surprise me at all. I think it's that amazing. And make sure to subscribe if you gain value from this video. I greatly appreciate it. It's been Lee the Captain, and I'll catch you all on the next one. I'm out. Peace. Bye.